Local weather forecast. Welcome back. Well, I'm tracking some winds with us for tonight, so let's go ahead and jump right to our current wind speeds as of right now. So not too bad here in Yuma, very light in some areas, but stronger winds and staying a little breezy in Imperial County as of right now. And that's where that wind advisory still remains in effect. So we do have that wind advisory that'll be in place until 11 o'clock for Western Imperial County for those gusty and dusty conditions where highest um, peak gusts could peak about 40 to even 45 miles per hour. So that's what we're going to be experiencing for the rest of this hour is those winds. And then heading into tomorrow, those winds will calm down a little bit come the morning hours, but they will linger. So we are going to be still a little breezy during the morning hours, but still nothing too gusty. So this is what we're going to be working with come tomorrow. Those stronger winds will continue in Imperial County and then heading into the evening. Well, winds will strengthen once again, so we will have breezy to even windy conditions. And once again, stronger winds will continue to favor Imperial County for our evening and even nighttime hours. So definitely going to be tracking this and continuing to look at these gusty and dusty conditions that will kind of linger into our Tuesday evening once again. And even looking out for more winds that we could experience. So more winds with windy conditions, even looking at on um, Thursday. So looking a little bit ahead there, but that's what we're going to be experiencing. So I am looking out for winds to pick right back up. So I'll give you more as we go through this week. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our air quality index sponsored by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Not looking too bad, mainly moderate conditions out there, but there is an air quality alert for Imperial Valley for the rest of tonight due to the gustier winds bringing blowing dust. So that's something to be mindful of for the rest of tonight. Now, the reason we are experiencing these stronger winds is because we have this trough of low pressure up to the north, so it is bringing us those gustier conditions, but it's actually cooling down our temperature, so we do have this ridge down to the south, and it's actually bringing that excessive heat in like Texas and not really much in our area. We are actually cooling down this week, so um, yesterday, Yuma hit a high of 105. Today, we were in the low 100s again, and even as we head into later this week, we're going to see even cooler temperatures, so get ready for some cooler than normal for this time of year. So here's what we're working with on our eight day forecast. So we have low 100s and then we have Thursday and Friday, 99 degrees and 96. Then we are just going to warm right back up come early next week on Monday and Tuesday. It's so looking at 109. So it'll be a little bit more summer like as we go into early next week. And the official day of summer is this Wednesday. So hope you're ready for summer season, but temperature's not looking too bad for this time of year. And we'll definitely take these cooler conditions for now.